To create a Blackboard rubric, go to your control panel and open up Course Tools. Select Rubrics. A list of the rubrics in the course gets displayed, as does a Create Rubric button. Click that Create Rubric button. So you give your rubric a name and a description, and this does get displayed to students, so be sure to use descriptive terms here. Okay, so we scroll down, and that's where we get into the mechanics of creating our rubric. So what are we looking at here? We've got the grading criteria down the left side. Those are the different pieces of the assignment to be graded. And then along the top, we have what Blackboard calls the levels of achievement. These are the levels of quality from low to high of each of the criteria. Notice that there are also text box areas to describe what each level of achievement is for each of the criteria. So this is entirely customizable. Right now we're looking at a percent rubric type. This means that percents are used in each of the levels of achievement and criteria boxes. Notice the other options that we have here. Let's select the points option because that's what I'll be using to grade this writing assignment. So my writing assignment is worth 100 points total and I can customize my criteria by clicking the chevron button next to the criteria name and selecting edit. Okay, if I need to add a new criteria I can do so by clicking the add row button and if I need to remove a criteria I can do so by choosing delete this row. So I've entered the three criteria that I'll be using to grade the writing assignment and now let's look at the levels of achievement. By default Blackboard gives me three levels of achievement novice, competent, and proficient and these also can be edited by clicking the chevron button next to each name and selecting edit. Okay I can add a new level of achievement by selecting add column. Let me edit that and I can delete a column, a level of achievement, with the chevron button selecting delete this column. Okay, next we need to enter point values or percentages or ranges, but for each of the criteria for each of the levels of achievement we need to enter a point value because that's the kind of rubric that I'm creating here. So I know my total points for this essay is 100, so this last column needs to add up to 100 and my point breakdown is this 40, 20, 40 and I'll go ahead and distribute those points across those three criteria. Okay, those point values have been entered. So now comes the important part. The most valuable part of the rubric are these text descriptions that go into each of the boxes. That's the information that tells the student why they received the grade that they received, so it explains to them the difference between receiving 40 points for organization instead of 30 points for organization, for example. The text descriptions help students identify what they need to improve their score, so I'm going to pause this recording and enter those descriptions now. Okay, so we've customized the criteria, the levels of achievement, the point values, and the text descriptions. Let's save this rubric by clicking the Submit button. I now see that new rubric in my list of rubrics for this course. In order to attach this rubric to an assignment, I go to the assignment that I'll be using this rubric with. and I edit the assignment. First you want to be sure that the points for this assignment matches the maximum total points that you just used in the rubric. And now we select the Add Rubric button. Notice here that I also have an option to create the new rubric. That would put me back on the screen that I was just on. In this case though we're saying Select Rubric and find the rubric that I just created and hit submit. Here it's asking me to assign the maximum points of the rubric to the points of this assignment and that's what I want. 
Once the rubric is associated with the assignment, I have some buttons here. I can remove the rubric association. I can just view the rubric, open it and view it. I can go back to the edit rubric screen with this button. I want to use my rubric for grading. If I were to select used for secondary evaluation, that just attaches the rubric as a reference that may or may not be used for grading. So I'll keep this as used for grading. And then under show rubric to students, you want this to be yes with the rubric scores. That's the most valuable instructional option for your students to see the rubric with the rubric scores before and after the assignment has been submitted. You do have the option to not show them the rubric scores or to just show it to the rubric to them after grading or not show the rubric to them at all. Okay, so this rubric is now associated to the assignment. So that was how to create a rubric and associate it to an assignment.